to settle down for the night I've uh, got the little one on the bench that's turned into a bed I'm in a double bed I've got absolutely bags of room really can't complain enough storage above for any of the clothes and stuff there's um, storage over there which I've just pulled my phones clothes things like that in um, I'm actually above all the water tanks and uh, battery and things like that so yeah really clever setup got a window overlooking all the fields and things it's pitch black now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring you back in the morning all right good morning right cracking nice sleep wow this thing's warm uh, I said to him I says oh you're gonna have to put one of them diesel night eaters in it and he's like no you won't need it it was warm I had to crack a window um, I know it's not winter or anything yet, but it's it's a toasty little pod. This um, I've got to looked out the window this morning. They've uh, they've done the harvest. They've done. Uh, they've actually done the field. That's been an amazing like cornfield for I don't know how long, but uh, still, this is your you out your bedroom window, which that's nice. Right. Good morning. Got my house out of bed. So. I'm uh, gonna make a brew, it's priority of the day, so yeah, right. So we've got kettle and everything. Um, they don't normally have the teas and coffees, I think. They're, they're just working out what you get for what your money. So I think what they're gonna do is they're gonna have a basic price and you get like the camper. Um, if you want like your teas, your coffees, your extra bits, things like that, give them a shout and they'll just stick it on with the price or something like that. Don't quote me on that, that's something to ask them yourselves. Um, but I know. It's one of them things where it's cheap as it is. You know, like if you're doing, um, you get a cheap bed and breakfast or something, it's a lot cheaper than that. So, and this is glamping with all the fields and all the rest of it. So yeah, it's, uh, it's a new one for them. You've got water, this is plumbed water. Um, there's a water heater in here as well. So you have got hot water. Uh, there's a, a shower, fridge down here, cooker here. Um, you've got a sofa that turns into a kid's bed and you've got a double bed over there So you've got everything for like two adults and a child. Um, I suppose you could put another camp bed down here if you wanted two children um, Yeah, it's uh, Something different. I'm used to being in the Land Rover Yeah, what they do have here is the um, there's the veranda right at the other end So what I did last night I said to him to so, what, what, I couldn't get my Land Rover out, so I've not got my usual camping gear, so literally all I've done, chucked my bed in the back of the van and uh, grabbed a couple of bits from the shop on the way out. So I was like, he squared me away with some uh, coffee and sugar. And there's the veranda over there where they do the breakfasts, they do um, all the drinks and things like that. So yeah, there's probably some coffee and sugar in here. A bit of a last minute thing. I didn't really give him any notice that I was coming. So yeah, as always, mega helpful. It's not like a um, big commercial campsite, you know, where there's just a set rule for this and a set rule for that. The thing with Gabby and Johnny is the real people that, that do it because they've got a passion for it. So if they, if you need something, they kind of bend, flex, and you work it out between yourselves. None of this computer says no, Lark. Yes, yeah, so I'd probably say something like this is absolutely ideal for um, you know the people that want to make the purchase in either a van to get in the van life, or that they they want to get a camper van or something along them lines, but they haven't got this. They want to see if they can actually do it because it's not for everybody. Do you know what I mean? Some people like the house, they like the home, they, they like to do that. Me personally, any excuse to get out on a weekend. So, if you're a bit unsure, if you, I mean, there's some people with kids that put them in a confined space like this and they'll absolutely hate it. So, 
you've always got that. It's it's definitely up there. Or people that just uh, they can't afford to buy it for the one or two times a year that they would use it. So you rent something like this when there's an event on, you're going to get in there early because this books up fast. Um, I think they've already got bookings for this in in a couple of weeks' time. Uh, yeah, you so you rock up in your normal car. You've got this for the weekend, and then at the end of it, you just tidy all your stuff out, give it a quick clean, and then you're away, aren't you? It's it's just no aggro. You've not got the MOTs or the hassle or the or the seven million tents from go outdoors or because there's a lot of people out there that will spend a thousand pound on camping gear for go outdoors and use it twice in a year. So it's far cheaper to rent something like this. Yeah, you can see it got huge gas boiler. And there's so much storage. This is unreal. Essential supplies, big money there. The thing with this is, Johnny built this for himself because he goes to all the tractor dudes and he used to tow this behind his lorry. So this is built well for him. This isn't some cheap and nasty thing thrown together. He's put time and effort into it so he can go to each show, uh, do what he does for the weekend and then come back. It's only because he's built now his new big one that this is even usable. So. Yeah, um, you've got power sockets all over the place, you've got the inverter, you've got the USB charging points all over, um, little TV, I think that's actually DVD as well, and uh, yeah, bathroom and bedroom, I'll show you them. A lot of walking around here, big into the walking around this way, um, so you've got your coat hooks and everything, uh, if anything's a bit damp, get it all dried out. Get your bedroom in here. Excuse the monster, she's decided that that's the better bed this morning. Big shower. This is a man size shower. So, a proper toilet, proper shower. Um, you, you do have a, a duller a dull one for on a night time as well. He's got lights everywhere. So what we did last night, because the little one doesn't like the dark, uh, we just left this one little strip light on. And uh, yeah, that was in more than enough to go in there. And she was happy. But yeah, full, full size shower. Proper, proper toilet, not a little cassette toilet. Uh, it's one of the pump jobbies because he's got a big grey tank on this. solar power so yeah this this is solar on a battery bank so it is very green just on an absolute side note uh, while i'm making this video just want to say a big thank you to uh, bernard is it early early terrible with names thank you very much um just got a random paypal um that's the first time someone's done that so yeah um the message was keep up the good work i'd, I'd love to reply to you but paypal doesn't let me do it but thank you very much so just to give you an idea, this is the pot washing station, he's putting the vending machine in, like I said, he's new to all this and he's building it up, so over the next few months it's going to change drastically for the better, so uh, I mean he's, he's done a hell of a lot in the last six months as it is, but yeah, vending machine, um, you've got pot washing station, uh, you've got a washing machine, then over in that corner he's just building some shower blocks, let's have a look. Right, so over in this corner, there's the original toilets. Um, nothing special, uh, it's just an uh, eco toilet. But what he's doing is, is at the minute building these shower rooms. I don't know if any of these are open. Yeah, so you have proper shower rooms, uh, proper toilets. I don't know if they're open yet. Everything you need. So, yeah, that's. Uh, that's it. I mean, it's one of them things. It's a, it's a mate of mine, so it'd be uh, well, a couple of mates now. Uh, it'd be good to give them a bit of business. Um, it's one of them places in winter as well, as you can see. There's plenty of hard standing, so if you're worried about getting stuck on the grass, it's worth giving them a bell just to say you got a bit of hard standing we can rock up on. And I think with all this COVID and stuff, it's nice just to get out. So yeah, any questions, description below. You'll get the link to them and go see them. Don't ask me a million questions about it because I don't know. Ask them. Um, 
they've got a Facebook group and a Facebook like page. Get yourself on there and uh, yeah, have a look. Right, so something a little bit different there. Uh, it's a night out doing something different. It's, uh, as, you, as you know, I've been coming down here for about 10 years. Um, lovely place. And since Johnny and Gabby have had it, it's, it's changed no end. So yeah, you know where it is now. Um, all the details are in the description below. If you've enjoyed that and you want to see some more walk rounds, because I know people do like the vehicle builds, the walk rounds, the what makes the best bug out vehicle things. So yeah, something a little bit different um, might give you an idea for lots of people are building trucks and stuff so this is a similar kind of size to a lot of the trucks give you an idea of layout bits and pieces i'm not going to go through all the specs of everything because like i say it's now turned into a glamping unit rather than an off-grid kind of tow behind thing so see you on the next one